when we decide to buy cranes, how do we decide where to buy them or, or what goes into that decision? So uh, we chose CPMC through the competitive bid process. So there's approximately eight crane manufacturers around the world, and, uh, but not all of them build the crane, the size of the crane we, we needed. And uh, ZPMC actually corners the market for this gantry crane manufacturing. They own 70% of the share. And right now they produce about 200 cranes a year. Wow. Now how many are there building for the Northwest Seaport Alliance altogether? All altogether eight cranes. And how, how many are coming over? We have four coming over mid-February, and then we'll have four more mid-2019. And these are built in China. Are all the components that are in the cranes built there, or are they sourced all over? Some of the components are are purchased by ZPMC and then assembled in China. For instance, the elevators, uh, the operator cab, uh, the spreaders that pick up the container. Another big part is the uh, electrical system that drives in the motors. They, they're all European parts. Interesting, so it's a global crane. Yes. You've made a few trips to China to inspect the cranes, yeah, and I think somebody called it Crane Island. Could you paint a picture of what it was like to be there and how big a facility or facilities are over there? Their main fabrication base is in Shenzhen Island, and the facility is about 275 acres. Oh, wow. Yes, and at one time they have 100 cranes in different parts of fabrication. That's huge. So our visits are mainly for quality and manufacturing processes. We have uh, uh, port employees and also um, engineers that, that go down and they do commissioning and owner acceptance testing. So and they perform these tests to, uh, um, to operate the crane and the endurance tests and we witness it and sign off on, the, on those functions. Okay, now did some longshore go over on some of these trips? Is well? Yes, Longshore did go early on to look at the operator cap to get feedback on the design and, and the functionality of the operator cap. Okay, so, so they gave it a thumbs up too? Yes, they did. They did find a few things that we were able to modify. Cool. Did anything surprise you about either the project or just traveling to China? Any, wow, I never knew that? Or... The biggest take back was the sheer size of these cranes. Um, we'll be receiving the biggest cranes on the west coast and uh, we're anticipating their arrival and when they anchor on the commencement day, just seeing the, the magnitude of these cranes. So they'll be how much bigger than some of the ones that people are, have seen for years down here? Our biggest cranes at the port is, is about 135 feet and uh, the newer cranes will be 50 feet taller. Taller. Yes.